guys, sorry about the noise. We're gonna do a quick radiator install here. Smell it. Pop your little tabs up here. Your hoses, your electric fans, your oil cooling lines on this side, your transmission lines on that side, and we'll go through it as we go through it. And I gotta do this quick. We'll make a fast video, that way you guys can do yours quick and get your stuff done. Pop it off that back pin right there. I'm loosen that. I'm loosen that. I'm gonna unplug the fans. Push a little button in. On each one of these fans. back like that and then you get these clips out your new ones come with it they should so don't worry too much about it you can tell on this radiator the stuff's leaking out the side of it the better house going on a trip I don't want anything to happen brand new heavy-duty radiator at my guy around this area which I'm gonna put his number in the description they're $133 for almost any radiator you get off the guy and they're TYC's I believe and they work awesome pop off these lines too. They're gonna be a little harder to get to.
top off. Of course, take your front panel off. There are plastic pins pop out with a screwdriver. Take that off. Then you're going to take that off so you can get to the little pin that that slides up under that thing. And then take your oil lines off that side, your top transmission line off that side. Loosen your bottom transmission line so this bypasses it so you can lift it out and get to your bottom tranny line easier. Yeah, I can definitely get to it way easier as you can see now get to that bottom transmission line Recapped. We just took off the bottom radiator hose, the hose that goes back to the head. That's like just a little, I think, breathing port, and the overflow hose, the other oil line here, and then the two, I'm sorry, transmission lines, oil lines on that side. And I think that's it. Let's unbolt her and take her out of there. All these on a Tahoe and about all the way up because my 1999 Silverado 2500 and this is all 13 millimeter. Okay, guys. radiator and the new one okay, it looks like you got all the right caps to go with it everything looks like it's in the same spot always check that out to make sure you don't put a radiator in it not gonna work Looks like we got to take our grommets out of here and pop in there, but we should be good. Loctite sealer or whatnot, and the rubber bushing on the bottom of these, so they tighten up nice. This one don't have a rubber rubber bushing, but sure to be just fine.
quick pointer too. I didn't go over it earlier. Check underneath and always make sure your um, radiator. Um, lost for words, guys. <laughs> the radiator drain make sure it's not open when you put it in because when you put all your fluid in it's going to drain right back out so always check it make sure it's tight